Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth, Win Streak 2. I'll buy it. Again, we're gonna we're not gonna mess with that streak. We'll probably lose it when I uh, do the lost unlocking stuff. I guess I could just copy the save file. And, uh, it's not the same. Anyway, V K one H V L G Bay. We are gonna roll onwards here. Had some. The last run was a little bit touch and go. We were blue baby, and uh, no wait, we were last. <laughs> We were blue baby two runs ago. On the last run, we just had no HP. There's a subtle but important difference there. Um, we made it work. We we made our own little waka waka challenge, and we we lived it, man. Uh, anti grav, come on, rerollable. Ah, whatever. Justice, very good. Um, anti grav, plus. Sorry, you gotta give me a second. Keyboard's a little on the oily side. I just ate some toast, and I guess a little bit of uh, margarine got on my fingers. I know it's gross. We can actually make good use of this. So we can go down to the next floor with a nearly 100% chance to get a deal with the devil. Um, the way we'll do that is just sacrifice a red heart to get that black heart. Yeah, that should work fine. And then um, we'll also be able to pick up that spirit heart. That'll give us two HP buffer. It's pretty good. There's no way I'm rerolling attack fly. Attack fly is just, it's, it's too much of a fail safe. It's like taking the brakes out of your car or something like that. <laughs> it's, it's not a very good analogy. I was like, in the worst case scenario, it's going to be bad for you. You might not always need your brakes, but sometimes you need your brakes. You you pretty much always need your brakes. I'm getting a reputation as someone who like knows nothing about driving. I know nothing about cars. I know uh, I know a little about driving, which I am you know legally not obligated, but legally uh, allowed to do without any restrictions, except hey, don't be an asshole and you know drive drunk and crash into people. And or crash into people, I should say. Um, this is a very good floor for us, because we picked that up. I think that's what that room's designed for, is basically, you know, give yourself a slightly better chance of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor. We're going to have full HP. We're going to be at four red hearts. Attack fly is a little close for comfort, so I'm not going to... Well, let's be honest. I'm probably going to end up using that to, to kill enemies. And it may end up backfiring occasionally, but that's okay. Five bombs is lovely. Puts us in a position where we are uh, very likely to get a Tinted Rock. Unfortunately, we are going to be on Cellar 2, and we already fought... Uh, I already forgot who we fought. I think it was the Widow, though. And if we already fought the Widow, that means we pretty much got, you know, Haunt, Pin, and then you just your requisites, uh, your standard bosses. Uh, but it seems like the Haunt is is very likely to show up on your, your Cellar, especially if you've already taken out one of the special Cellar bosses. That's okay. We're in a position where we can conceivably take him down. You know, we got good bombs. Gimpy! I riled Nick up a little bit on uh, on Thursday's NLSS by saying that Gimpy is kind of an overrated item. I don't think Gimpy's bad. Oh, there's a tinted rock. But I do think Gimpy is not amazing. But if you can get the, you know, get the synergies with stuff like blood banks, it can work out for you. There's a lot of pots there. I'm, I'm tempted. I'm also tempted to get that key for the cost of a spirit heart back there. Um, but I, I want to make sure that we're not going to fuck up our deal with the devil chance by doing so. Because, you know, if we fight the haunt, there is a chance that I could I could ruin that. Uh, that being said, you know, you might be responding to my complaints about Gimpy by saying, Hey, put your money where your mouth is. If you think Gimpy's so bad, don't pick it up next time. You got me. Gimpy's good enough to pick up. And there have been times where it saved me. Like Attack Fly, I think it's more of a risk. Like, you'll, you'll miss it if you need it. And if you don't need it, hey, whatever then. Let's throw one bomb down here, maybe get lucky. Okay, goodbye spiders. Hello, three cents for one bomb. Fistula. It's uh, not the first time we've seen Fistula this early, but it is a little rare. A little on the rarer side. Easy boss fight. Uh, attack fly makes it pretty trivial. Especially, you know, due to the way, or the speed at which attack fly, or this attack fly at least, rotates. We can pretty much guarantee ourselves to take down the Silkworm if we take down the Fistula part with the Attack Fly. That's exactly how that just went down. Squeezy is good enough to pick up the extra Spirit Hearts, just a bonus. And our deal with the Devil contains Contract from Below, which is an absolute no-brainer pickup. Our pill is Tears Down. That's not so good, but we got Squeezy. I think we just head down to the next floor. I know I talked about walking over those spikes to get that key. I can't feel good about that. We're probably going to get a key on this floor. Our eyes are a little a little wonky right now. That's okay. Two bombs for six cents and a spirit heart. I think that's 
reasonably okay trade, especially if we get enough keys to actually, you know, make it into our shop. Making your way in the world today, you gotta get yourself to the shop. If you define yourself without a key, you're not gonna feel so hot. Thank you. Wouldn't it be nice to get away? Technology. I don't know, it sounds like I'm doing like a... Like I'm, the, I'm my own hype man. Wouldn't it be nice to get away? Technology! Anyway. It's all good. Technology, um... A little bit of a, a damage down, but uh... You know, good good damage. If we can actually get it working. Interestingly enough, today's item discussion on the Rebirth uh, subreddit was about Contract from Below. And Contract from Below is an item that I, I have a lot of respect for. The only reason I could really see not to take Contract from Below is if it, if it will be fatal to you, don't take Contract from Below. Technology is a little worse. I'm kind of feeling like maybe technology was not the right choice. Um, if it'll be fatal to you, don't take it. That should be kind of an obvious indicator. But anyway, uh, if there's a better item in the deal with the devil and you can't take both, for example, if there is perhaps a mom's knife, but you don't have enough HP to take mom's knife and contract from below without dying, don't take it. Otherwise, it's pretty much, even if it'll just leave you barely alive, I think Contract from Below is worth taking if you have confidence in your own abilities. Because, man, you only need one Spirit Heart, or sorry, one um, one Eternal Heart, or one HP up pill to fall in order to make it very much worth your while. This damage upgrade has never been more worthwhile than right now. Um, man, our eyes are freaking me out, man. I would like Mom's Purse, but you know what? This run is going to be a donation machine. We don't need anything else right now. We're fairly strong. Shut up and take my money. There you go. Uh, we're early. Like, very, very early on in this run. So, I'm going to continue to explore. I would love to do boss rush. You know, we haven't used our D6 for anything. If we get to the boss rush, we can actually use our D6 for something. Maybe. Uh, better chance to, anyway. Yeah, why not? Give it a try. Bullet Ball Extreme. It'll catch your eye. That's a, a slightly obscure reference. Yeah, if you don't know Bullet Ball, it's a really, you know, the older I get, the more sad I've become every time I watch Bullet Ball. But I continue to watch it. Bullet Ball is a, uh, it's a viral video from American Inventors. So this is a TV show that was like American Idol for inventors, but it was before Dragon's Den and Shark Tank made it to North America. It was back in like 2006, something like that. That wasn't me thinking, I was just, you know, that's just how I say 2006, it was a great year for me. 2006! Get ready! Cheers theme song! Anyway, um, this guy goes on American Inventor to impress the judges, and if, you know, if they say yes to your idea, they invest in it. Basically the same as Shark Tank. And, um, he's like, I've invented a high-caliber table game for the 21st century lifestyle. Combines hockey, soccer, and ping-pong. He's got kind of like a southern drawl that I can't really, uh, I can't really emulate properly here. Uh, and then he comes out and his game is basically a circular table with bumpers on the side and you hit a little ball back and forth, you know, like you would play with your friends at a restaurant or something like that. And, um, everyone's like, dude, this idea fucking sucks. And he's like, you guys, you just don't get it. And they're, they're like, well, we do, but... I think we need to use two bombs to try to find our secret room if it's here. Because we can't bomb our way from special rooms anymore, unfortunately. Oh, well, it's not even there. I don't know where it would be then. We don't have any bombs anyway, so let's go. Uh, and... Basically... They shut him down, and he's he talks about all he's given up to make this, like, board game that's just a table. And he's spent, he's spent like, $100,000 on it or something, and he's living in his car. It's really sad. That's why I say, like, the older I get, I realize it's just sad. When I was younger, you know, first saw the video when I was, like, 17, I was like, <laughs> Oh, this guy's an idiot. Look at how he crushed all his dreams. <laughs> anyway. But it's still an interesting watch for a variety of reasons. Anyway. Um, if you go to the website, I, I hope it's still active. I, you know, I Maybe I don't hope he's still pursuing his dream, because I... You know, pursuing your dream is one thing, but it's not gonna work out, man. This is just a delusion. But, um... You know, I hope he's doing well. Whatever he's doing, let's put it that way. I mean that genuinely. Um, he's got a website, and, um... There's a song on it. 
and it's there's like a I know it was on YouTube. There's like a bullet ball extreme music video, and it's just like a jingle. I guess it goes bullet ball, bullet ball. That's a bullet ball. Bullet ball, bullet ball. That's a bullet ball, and it just just kind of keeps going like that. It, it goes down all the talking points. Lock down. We don't want two of those. Anyway, that's bullet ball. You should watch the bullet ball video. I do you know? Do keep in mind when you watch it that you are going to see a man's dreams get crushed in front of your eyes, and that you know, it's actually sad. Some people I show it to think they're going to laugh, or just like, man, this is like I'm really depressed now. So. You know, it depends, you know, how do you how do you do when you watch stuff like The Office? Especially the UK edition. More like uh, you know, awkward, painful funny than funny funny. In a good way, I like the I like the British office. I'm just saying, you know, there's some there's a little bit of despair that makes up kind of like one of the flavor profiles of that kind of comedy as well. Now. Onk. I don't like it. I don't like it anymore. I I I used to think by the time I was done with vanilla, I thought the onk was like not a must-have item, but it was like a cool fail-safe item. But it I've just never found it that useful in Rebirth. Like I've never encountered a situation in which the onk was actually like what I needed in order to survive. I don't even know if I've ever come back with the onk, to be honest with you. The only reason I like the onk is cuz it makes me think of Shrek, you know. Onke. It's more of a Nick joke. That's all right. Maybe I'll get a chance to use my D6 at some point on this run. I'm excited by the prospect of doing so. Thus far, it uh, hasn't come up yet. Mm, that's okay. Hey, cool it there. Cool it, Sanchez, or you'll get a knuckle supper. I saw someone in the comments that was like, Northern Lion dropping the, the fattest Garth Marenghi Dark Place references of 2014. You and me, bud. We know what's up. Not that that's a niche show, really, but, you know, you don't see too many people with Garth Marenghi Dark Place posters on their walls these days. Thank you, Gimpy. Okay, I, I hate this room. Edmund, if next time you nerf an item everybody loves, you have to get rid of this room. It's only fair. I should have re-rolled the Ankh. Literally, this is how... Silly I am sometimes. Saw the Ankh. Didn't even think about the fact that I had the D6 and was just like, man, I haven't used my D6 at all in this run. Within like 45 seconds, that conversation happened. I am a real shrewd dude. Okay, like this is, I mean, the fight's going fine here. That was a poor dodge, but it worked out. Dude, anyone who, who thinks attack fly sucks, go for Fudge yourself, Tony, because this is a great item. Look at that. Sure, we took a little damage because we were dancing too close, like next, but that's okay. All stats up is lovely. Do we have another guppy item? I can't recall. We do not, and I'm going to re... <sighs> okay. Well, you know what? Guppy's hairball maybe is better because it's a little bit more passive. We're going to head... Uh, we're going to get our battery, then we're going to head down to the next floor just to keep our boss rush dreams alive. Um... Too bad that wasn't Guppy's Paw, because then we would have picked it up and re-rolled it, but whatever. It's all good. So, uh, where we're, Northern Lion's gonna become Guppy, whether he wants to or not. We're gonna head into this next room and, uh, next floor, I should say, and keep our boss rush dreams alive. The Halo is an incredibly good item. Necropolis 1. We got eight minutes. Eight minutes of me time. To do whatever needs to be done. Hey, here's an idea for an item. What about an attack fly? Um, but it changes your... It's not a normal attack fly, it's just like passive. It changes your tier into an attack fly, so you lose your tier. Almost like you were playing like a solar system challenge or something like that. But it got affected by stat upgrades. So every time you picked it up... Oh, shouldn't have done that. Every time you uh, picked up like a damage upgrade, your fly did more damage. If you picked up a, a speed or a shot speed upgrade, if you picked up a speed upgrade, it'd do nothing. If you picked up a shot speed upgrade, it would rotate faster. You picked up a tears upgrade, it would do ticks of damage faster. You picked up a, an HP upgrade, it would give you HP. You picked up a range upgrade, it would revolve a little further away from your, your body than before. Could be interesting. Uh, and, and just make it like very potent. So that you can only use your attack fly. I think that'd be pretty cool. And have it stackable so you can pick up multiple of them. Just, just throwing it out there. 
Almost like a like a mom's knife, but with like a mom's knife that rotates around you in fly form. Or maybe to make the you know, I'm just spitballing ideas. I'm not suggesting that without any discussion, these should just make it into the expansion or the the, uh, the game eventually. Um, how about that's just like what the Lord of the Flies transformation does? Instead of just being kind of like, eh, you can fly and the flies are friendly. And why not make it a little bit more, uh, a little bit more interesting? You know, make it so that uh, you can only attack with like two rotating attack flies or something like that. That could be neat. Some people would probably hate it. I love using attack flies though, especially if you got like a decent speed stat, you could do a number on a, on some enemies with these attack flies. I think everybody mostly uh, respects attack flies. I just never hear anybody talk about it like, oh shit dog, attack fly is real nice, you know? So I assume that they don't get any respect, but I think they should and probably do get a decent amount of respect. I just am not listening in the right places. Well, if we can find an arcade, we can get some good use out of this. I would still like to donate more to our donation machine. You know, we've we've been not very kind to it today. It would be nice to take it well over the 700 club here. This is gonna hurt, yeah. <laughs> I hate this room. If you can fly, this room is fine. If you can't fly, this room is annoying shower handle. HP is still great though. We have not even been concerned about it. Okay, finally. Ooh, soy milk. This is going to lower our damage so much. But look at that! Oh, man! Oh. Lock up your speakers, because you are not going to be happy with this. Alright, I'm going to donate as much as I can. Mr. Donation, look and see if there's a payout, a payout for me. 718's alright. Uh... Why, oh, Northern Line, why'd you ruin your run by taking soy milk? Well, straw man, I just made up for the purposes of strengthening my argument. I think soy milk leads to interesting situations, and as a result, I like to take it. Now, admittedly, our damage as a result of picking up soy milk is pretty bad, but imagine if we pick up Libra or something like that. Plus, we sound like a failing hard drive, which is great. I'm a big fan of this right here. So I'm just gonna hang back. That's all right. I would like to kill Loki faster than that. You know, I'll be honest with you, range upgrade wasn't exactly what I was looking for there. In case you were wondering, you might have been curious. Hey, Northern Line, were you looking for a range upgrade when you already had an infinite range item? No! No, I wasn't! You smarmy bastard. Oh, okay, I want five cents. Yeah, okay, that'll do it. At first, it the weird roller coaster of emotions. No, yes, mm, yes, okay. Oh, this is lovely. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to uh, turn down the sound in the game by one. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. Good amount of money and we can buy whatever we want. Oh, I was really hoping there'd be a battery charge so we can get a full reroll. I doubt we're going to get a reroll, so I'm going to try, but I doubt we're going to be... Yeah, that's it. Man, against enemies with no HP... We're going to be so decent. <laughs> Against enemies with a lot of HP, we're going to be real shitty. We're hoping for uh, Libra, or just just hoping for cool stuff, basically. That's, that's me in a nutshell. Imagine, you know, technology, soy milk, guppy. That's what I'm dreaming about. Can we buy a PhD? I think we can buy a PhD. Gives you a pill. I forgot. Paralysis. I, I got so many tweets that were like, Northern Line, you gotta learn, buddy. You When you buy a pill, or when you buy a PhD, you get a pill. Just figure it out. Ooh, not so bad. Um, you're not wrong. When you buy a PhD, you do get a pill. That time, I got paralysis, for example. All right. Curse room. Yes, we will attend. Curse of the unknown. Doesn't really bother me. Supposed to diarrhea. Tears up. Tears up seems like a little bit of overkill. Oh, there's another. Why? 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 Why sacrifice that much to get a key? Are you full of your own farts all the time, self? We gotta get to that boss rush room, dude. Hurry! Hope. Oh. Haha. <laughs> Tricked you. Hope. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, hey. That was easy enough. All right. That room's not guaranteed damage. I see people call it guaranteed damage all the time. It's not. It's annoying. There's a slight difference. 
Man, this is a this is a wild run. I've come around on soy milk. I hated soy milk and Bob's brain. Now I I kind of like both of them, strangely enough, just because of the, the weirdness that they can bring to a run that I have great amounts of respect for. So with PhD, we got to do this. We don't have to take forever to do it. Explosive diarrhea. Luck up. That's worth it. I forgot how much HP we have, but we got a lot. That's probably good for now. So I did it once more. We got enough money to maybe make our shop worthwhile on the fly here, which is pretty nice. Now the question is, would we even be able to beat Mom in time? To, like, how much time are we going to need to beat Mom on this ridiculous kind of run we got going on right here? Poop gets rerolled. Three dollar bill. Slightly better, I think, but I'm not taking my chances anyway. Some tier effects are going to be nice. Like, hey, Super Gluttony uh, is going to feel my fucking wrath here with the, the triple shot. That's bad for you, bud. Can't do anything there. 1806, my favorite year. It's 1806, my favorite movie. It's an In Like Flynn reference. In Like Flint? It might be In Like Flint. From Austin Powers. You know, we're not going to break any speed records here for killing these rooms, but I can't help but feel that we're just like one sweet ass item away from having the sweetest ass run that has ever been sweet and a, a posterior simultaneously. Not loving the damage I'm taking. Not loving that Gimpy's decided to crap out on me. I would say boss rush is uh, but a dream right now. Nah, this is an annoying room for us. Man, you know what else would be nice? Bloody lust. Because I am getting hit. 1901. It could still be doable. I didn't realize it's a shop. Yes, BFF. Uh, I'll, I'll donate quickly. One, two, three, four. If I okay, go. Time to go. Uh, we're gonna have to be real quick. Real, real quick. Homing tears. It's good. Get the uh, get the key. Don't get the key. Go. Ah, good. Get out of here. Uh, forget them. Okay. Get destroyed. Let's do this. I might not even want to fight. The fucking boss rush room, man. It's not so bad. We might be able to do it. I'm a little in denial right now. Oh, I don't know. Attack fly. Do work. Blackheart, thank you. Attack fly, do work. Attack fly, do work. It got like six seconds. Hairball. No! Oh, we did it! And then it closed immediately. Oh my god, that's okay. We tried. We took red hard damage, man. We're, we might be very low on HP. All for basically bullshit. Ah. That hurts. That hurts a little bit. Yeah, we were low, man. We were lower than I expected. Alright, time to make up for that. Liking this number one laser we got going on here. That was fun. Uh, really would love to get a deal with the devil on this floor. The guppy dream is, is still a theoretical possibility. I am... <laughs> I... It's... You know those, like, speech... Oh, that was so bad. You know, you guys are Navy SEALs, right? You know those speech jammers that you can use that, like... Uh, not that I'm a Navy SEAL. That, um... You know, they basically play your own voice back to you in a weird, distorted way so that it makes it hard for you to speak. The speech jammers, they're called. We got Firemind right here. Should stay away. Those are going to explode, probably. Um, that's how I feel about soy milk plus technology right now. Is like, I can't talk to you because my brain is being jammed right now. Oh, that's not good damage. I apologize for not being able to speak more freely and eloquently, but my brain is being jammed right now. Oh, that's not good. Okay, stick together. At this point in the game, we really should not be suffering this much uh, to kill two monstros. Starting to realize that probably technology soy milk was a bad call. Guess what? We got the Ankh. <laughs> 
if I die, we'll be okay. For temporary reasons. Temporary purposes. Full HP, half HP. So if we get another heart, I'm gonna go to um, that curse room. Because the guppy chance exists in all of us. Get that uh, attack fly in there. Oh, man, this is just a lovely sound here. Big fan. Big, big fan of this. Any, uh, any minute now. If you could just, uh, maybe stop with that. Okay, thank you. I, I'm so sorry, but I finally found an item that has broken my ability to provide commentary. I can't do it. Two keys. It's lovely. We didn't get Guppy's tail. Oh, this is Mom's contact. It's the perfect item for us. Yes. Because of the way soy milk works, it like any enemy that gets hit with that is just going to be frozen forever. Enjoy your, your new life. There's a tinted rock there. I just noticed it. That would allow us to go into the curse room if it had a spirit heart in it, which it doesn't. That's a new one. Oh, Wiggle Worm. You know, we don't need Rusted Key. Oh, man. That's, that's almost too good to pass up. Yes. Okay. So now that we have this, I am going to be very stupid. And don't do what I'm doing here. But I'm going to this curse room because I want... Oh, yes. it. My run looks broken. I want the guppy item. It's not a guppy item. It's a bunch of spiders. What am I supposed to do with spiders at this time of year? Spider season is over, man. We don't need umbilical cord. I'm sticking with wiggle worm. It's this run is too silly at this point to not embrace the silliness. It's a sweet ass like sine wave or something there. Oh, satanic bible. It's gonna keep us alive a little bit longer, and then we're gonna re-roll everything. We could roll with Satanic Bible, but I I prefer having the D6 dog. It's a lot better. But there is value in uh, in Satanic Bible, no question about it. Well, this is a pretty wild uh, spoon bender here. Hope it brought lots of purple spaghetti. Man, this is <laughs> it's like when. Uh, you know, Emperor Palpatine used his Force Lightning on Luke Skywalker. I, what's, what's ironic about that, or what's funny about that, let's say, uh, is that I said that in a nerd voice to be like, I'm a nerd, I knew Emperor Palpatine, you know, Force Lightning, Luke Skywalker. But really the reason I did that is as a defense mechanism, because I'm like, man, I feel kind of bad that I don't know much more about Star Wars than that. I was kind of embarrassed with my Star Wars lack of knowledge. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Yeah, that's uh, exactly what should have happened there, and it did. This is insane. I am never gonna touch anything like this ever again. Don't make me fight Mr. Fred, it's gonna take a hundred years. At least we have range. But fuck, man, I'd rather fight Mr. Fred than double Gertie. Long story short, I'm not super stoked about this double uh, enemy room we got going on here. We have to fight right now. Let's do it. It's Mr. Fred. You know what? I think we're like... Famous last words. I think we're almost immune to Mr. Fred. It's just going to be a pain in the ass. Look at the speed with which this fight is happening. There is some stuff going on. It's okay. There is a very, very small chance that we can generate a deal with the devil as a result of this. What I'm really liking is that when he spawns an enemy, they die uh, before they actually get to jump. And if they jumped, they could jump right out at me, which would be a terrible time to be alive if you were you if you were me. But because they die quickly enough, just quickly enough, this is great. We're getting some HP out of the situation. If we don't have anything to reroll, we go back to the library, reroll the crap out of that, and. Stay alive till the next floor to hopefully make the guppy dream come true, man, because, oh, we would have sweet, sweet guppy love. And they call it guppy love. So, Magic Mushroom is, like, the best all stats up in the game. Maybe that's upped our damage substantially. And we're not doing too bad against Krampus, you gotta admit. That's some, that's more damage than I would have anticipated. Now. If he gives me Lump of Coal... 
I'm going to make an educated guess and say that it gives us a flat damage increase and take it. If he gives us Krampus's head, it's a no bra well, not a no-brainer, but it's it's a reroll in my opinion. It's lump of coal. I'm going to take the risk and take it. Look, I know um <laughs> this is <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what to say. Um look, pinky eye is good, but I love the effect that we have on our tears here. It just looks so stupid. And there's something magical about that. We're doing a lot of damage now, it seems like. That enemy died in, like, the second flat. Maybe Lump of Coal Magic Mushroom is going to pull, pull us out of this crazy mess. That's what I was looking for there. Um, yeah, I mean, we might as well pick up Necronomicon, I guess. Well. Nobody said it was easy, but here we are. Secret rooms, perhaps? Ooh, lucky me. Uh, we have golden keys, so I actually am gonna- I'm gonna play this guy until I get down to four keys. If he drops golden chests, we can open them for free. That's incentive enough for me. Didn't mean to rhyme as much as I did there. That's okay, though. Come on. Don't- don't rake me over the coals too hard here. There we go. Oh, Cricket's head. It's a 1.5 times damage increase. That could be it, man. That could be enough. More golden chests, please. Yes. Uh, don't drop live bombs. Just I'm, I know you didn't. I'm just saying in the future. Oh, come on, though. Good, good, good. Uh, that's cash, dog. Oh, I don't let's go. I gotta do it. I gotta blow him up. Oh, I can't be trusted. <laughs> I was like, I'll just play him. I'll play him until I get down to zero. Then we'll take rusted key for a little while. No. It's okay. Cricket's head. You know... It's not having what you want, it's wanting what you've got. That's what Cheryl Crow said. Those are words to live by, man. We got Cricket's Head and Magic Mushroom on this floor. If that doesn't give us enough damage to be happy with our run right now, there's almost nothing that will give us enough damage to be happy with our run. So, let's just enjoy what we got. I think we improved a lot on that floor. The question will be whether or not it's enough. I don't know. We're, we're taking out enemies in not a hundred hits anymore. That's a start. So a quick peek around for rock tinteds. Well, there you go. We should have played our uh, key beggar a little bit more there. It's, it's pretty good. Yeah, we definitely should have played him a little bit more. Eh, sometimes, sometimes playing conservatively is wrong. It is the safest way, though, because when you're wrong, you 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 miss out on good things. Whereas when you're you know right, you keep good things. If you play fast and loose when you're wrong, you could be fucked. Where is the wall master? Is that it? That's not so bad. I'm not re-rolling this run, and it's not because I'm I'm afraid. It's because this run is already zany as shit, so I, I want to keep it zany. Yeah, that would re-roll everything. I don't want to do that. I'm happy with our run as is. I want to win with soy milk technology because it's silly. Soy milk technology wiggle worm $3 bill. Basically a run that just says, hey, fuck consistency. That's what I want to do. These turrets are like the worst enemies for us now. Because we can't stand near them at all. We don't have mom's contact. I actually don't know what tier effect we have. We're doing good damage though. Like, Mom's heart is is melting pretty quickly here. Uh, that was bad dodging, but that's okay. I think we might have made ourselves, well, we might have been made OP. This is looking pretty good. We're going to head up to the cathedral. Good news. I don't even think we need to be carried on the chest, to be honest with you. I think we might have already reached that carry potential. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this room. Well, Gimpy paid me, so I don't mind. Give the man his Miani. That was John Malkovich in Rounders, in case you're looking for a movie to watch tonight. It's it's a 6 out of 10. It's alright. Not high art, but it's it's fun. No wall masters remain. Four haunts remain. Oh my god. <sighs> Hello. Welcome. I hate you. I hate you so much. We did it. There's keys back there. 
almost forgot about them because that room took us eh, man, only 20 or 30 hours. Not so bad. All right. These rooms are uh, are gimme rooms, if you want to call them that. I wouldn't be offended. I will lose 2 HP to go into that curse room. The chances of Guppy exist, and as such, I'm interested. Okay, that's fine. We effectively only lost 1 HP because we're going to get this HP back right here. That's my philosophy on it, at least. You know, there are odd times where I find myself thinking, Hey, Wiggle Worm's actually pretty good. Ooh. Like, it's... Oh, that's pretty okay, too. Odd Mushroom. Like, it's letting us uh, do things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do. Like, it's letting us hit some enemies that we wouldn't be able to hit in most situations. I think that's a dangerous line of reasoning. It's likely to get me in trouble. Oh, that's pretty solid. Probably, mm, you know what? The moon card is better for use on the chest and beyond. Because there's a very good chance that we get an item in our secret room on the chest. Two red hearts are two red hearts. I mean, it's fine. Don't dislike it. Good. Ooh, not so good. Didn't take damage, though. Probably deserved to. I gotta try it, right? I was thinking, like, Wiggle Worm's pretty zany, but doubling our rate of fire with um, soy milk, that's pretty zany. There's a lot of zaniness potentially happening here. Let's see. Does it even raise our rate of fire? It does. It, ridiculously. Well, uh, goodbye, Wiggle Worm. It's been fun. Doubling our rate of fire with the Cancer Trinket just seems a little bit too good to pass up at this point. Fark off forever. Stay away. Stay away! I should not have taken that HP, but I was in a little bit of a dire circumstance. Look at how quickly the HP is melting on these guys. Now that I actually have the ability to deal some damage. Technology soy milk, man. Oh my god, where the hell is our boss room? We gotta be close. At this point, it's just getting goddamn ridiculous. I was, if this was not uh, the boss route, I would have been very perturbed. Let's do this. I think we have. Uh, oh, we have Mom's contact. Looked like he was frozen there for a minute. No, I don't think we have Mom's. Con oh, we do have Mom's contact. How in God's green earth is he not frozen all the time? Is my luck stat that bad? As far as I'm concerned, this young gentleman here should be frozen perpetually. You know how many ticks of, like, potential mom's contact action we have going on per second here? I can't even count it. Now, admittedly, I might have uh, been a little bit optimistic about our damage output here. Oh, I should have taken the lover's card in. How is he not... How? He should be frozen at all times. Okay, we had to take care of that guy first. You should be frozen constantly, dog. You know this, right? You know you're getting lucky? I hate that when people use that line in, like, online gaming. Yo, you know that's bullshit, right? What do you want me to say, motherfucker? Yes, master, that's bullshit. It's, like, it's a video game, dog. Shit happens. We're gonna win this. It doesn't even matter if we die because of the Ankh, but I'd rather not, because if we can save the Ankh, there's our vanilla Isaac skills talking. If we can save the Ankh for use on Blue Baby, that's even better. My god. Have you ever seen damage like this in your life? No, Captain. Why do you keep slipping into this impression? Also, this is not what Spock sounds like. This is Captain James T. Kirk, reimagined as a asexual computer. That's my favorite Radiohead album. I know there's another red heart back there. I'm not going to get it. I know I'm a piece of garbage. Here we go. Down to the next floor. Libra. Libra. Maybe like some Libra. 
Yes. No. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah, I'm not gonna, not gonna follow you there. All right, this gets blown up, no question. Don't stretch your leg at me, Ruka. You got a problem, mate? You got an issue, here's a tissue. All right, so there's our way to the boss. Chariot card's pretty solid. So I think we decide to just go ape shit because the boss is right there. I don't think we mess around. I'm, I'm pretty sure my winning strategy is just gonna be to bum rush the boss. So we come back down here, link up with our boss room. Okay, let's try to kill uh, Pestilence last because that might give us the better chance of the Spirit Heart. The triple shot Mysterious Liquid combo here is working real nice. Lee. So we're going to take Rosary, then reroll Abel because the HP could be good. Spelunker's Hat is not what I want. I suppose there's no real reason not to take it, but, you know, maybe we find a battery or something. It's all good. All right, this is actually, like, our DPS now is, it's got me feeling a little better about things. Double Hermit card, what am, I'm not going to use that for anything. This has been a, a wild run. This is my favorite kind of run. A run where you, you watch it and you're not even sure if it's going to work out until it does. And then it does. Because this is just ridiculous. We're, we got a fine tooth comb right now that is just dealing so much damage I don't even know what to say about it. I mean, then it's not even dealing that much damage. I was going to say, something's going to get killed here. We're going to be fine. Two items. Nod Leaf. Maggie's Wig. Maggie's Wig, good. Nod Leaf, great, but I hate it. Because I'm an asshole. Okay. So there's the Chariot. You know, I, I backed off a little early there. Chariot's fine. We're doing good damage. Mom's wig spawning the occasional spider that does 2.5 times more damage than our individual tiers, which is a fancy way of saying zero. <laughs> That's why Guppy would have been so much better, because we would have been generating so many flies because of soy milk technology. Um, and the flies do less damage than the spiders, but there would have been like 100 times more of them. But hey, we're like steamrolling Blue Baby here, so I can't even be mad. What a strange run. But a fairly easy run regardless, and it was it was fun, man. I had a good time. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a good time, too. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.